Hi, today I'm going to be demonstrating remote Bluetooth NXT control. First thing we're going to do is go on the robot. We're going to run the default program, the Bluetooth Navigator program. We're going to select controlled mode. And it is now powering on the Bluetooth and awaiting a connection. While it's waiting for a connection, we'll go to the controller NXT device, run the default program, the Bluetooth controller, connect, it's going to load the devices. We're going to connect to Navigator, it's connecting. And it is now connected. And on this screen you can see the name of the device that it's connected to, the motor speed, whether avoidance is on or off, and the current status. Now, as you can see, when I push the directional buttons on the controller NXT, the remote robot reacts accordingly. Now if avoidance is on and we approach something that it should avoid, such as a cliff, it will avoid the cliff, and as you can see on the screen, it will say cliff instead of the direction. So let's try that again. One more time. Cliff. And if the robot encounters an obstacle, like a wall, it will avoid the wall, and on the screen you can see it says obstruction. So turn it around, try it one more time. And you see obstruction again. Now if we want to change the motor speed, if we make it, want to make it faster or slower, we hit both of these buttons simultaneously to go to the main menu. Select select motor speed. We'll set it to the maximum possible speed, which is going to limit avoidance, but we'll try it anyways. And now you can see the motor speed is set to 900. And you can see that on the remote device, it is also 900. So here we go. As you can see, it's quite a bit quicker. Now in this mode, avoidance is not quite as responsive. It still avoids obstacles pretty well, but cliffs are limited. So that's that. You can also, I'll try making the speed slower than the, the default, which is 200. So we'll change it to, let's say, change it to 120. And the speed has changed to 120. You can see on the remote device, it has changed to 120. And you can see that it is slower than it was before. You can also change avoidance to off to turn off the collision and cliff detection. So now, if we run into an obstacle, nothing happens. It still says forward on the screen, and the remote NXT just spins instead of avoiding the object. So that was my demonstration of Bluetooth NXT control. We will now shut down the program by exiting out. It's going to disconnect. The remote NXT is going to go back to the main menu. And that concludes the demonstration.